Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a topic that's important for anyone who wants to achieve their financial goals, how to save money effectively. Saving money can be challenging, especially in today's world where there are so many temptations to spend. But with the right strategies and mindset, anyone can learn to save more and build a strong financial foundation for the future. In this video, we're going to share some practical tips and tricks that you can use to save money without sacrificing your quality of life. Whether you're trying to pay off debt, build an emergency fund, or save for a big purchase, these strategies will help you get there faster and with less stress. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn some money-saving hacks that you can start using today. Let's get started. First, let's explain what the rule of 72 is. It's a simple mathematical formula that can help you estimate how long it will take for your money to double based on a given interest rate. Here's how it works. If you divide 72 by the annual interest rate, as a percentage, you'll get an approximate number of years it will take for your money to double. For example, if the interest rate is 6%, you can use the rule of 72 to estimate that it will take about 12 years, 72 divided by 6, for your money to double. The rule of 72 is not a precise calculation, but it's a good approximation for interest rates between 6% and 10%. For lower or higher rates, the approximation will be less accurate. The rule of 72 is a useful tool because it can help you understand the power of compound interest and how it can work for you over time. By reinvesting the interest earned on your investments, you can accelerate your savings growth and achieve your financial goals faster. Now that you know what the rule of 72 is, let's see how you can apply it in practice and use it to make better investment decisions. For example, let's say you have $1,000 to invest and you're considering an investment with an annual interest rate of 6%. Using the rule of 72, you can estimate that it will take about 12 years, 72 divided by 6, for your money to double to $2,000. This means that if you invest $1,000 today and let it grow at a rate of 6% annually, in 12 years you'll have $2,000 without doing anything else. Of course, this is just an estimate, and the actual time it takes for your money to double will depend on many factors such as the compounding frequency, inflation, and taxes. But the important thing to understand is that by using the rule of 72, you can quickly compare different investment options and see which one is likely to give you the best return on your money over time. Now, let's see how you can use the rule of 72 to make smarter investment decisions and maximize your savings potential. It's important to note that the rule of 72 is not a precise calculation, but rather an approximation. It works well for interest rates between 6% and 10% which are common for many investments such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. However, for interest rates below 6% or above 10%, the approximation will be less accurate. For example, if the interest rate is 3%, the rule of 72 would estimate that it will take 24 years for your money to double, but the actual time could be longer or shorter depending on other factors. Similarly, if the interest rate is 12%, the rule of 72 would estimate that it will take 6 years for your money to double, but the actual time could also vary. So while the rule of 72 is a useful tool for estimating the time it takes for your money to double, it's important to keep in mind its limitations and use it in conjunction with other investment analysis tools. Now, let's see some practical examples of how you can use the rule of 72 to make better investment decisions and grow your savings faster. Now that you understand the rule of 72 and its limitations, let's see how you can use it in practice to make better investment decisions and grow your savings faster. The first step is to find out the annual interest rate of your investment. This could be a savings account, a stock, a mutual fund, or any other investment that pays interest or dividends. Once you have the annual interest rate, you can apply the rule of 72 to estimate how long it will take for your money to double. For example, if the annual interest rate is 8%, you can estimate that it will take about 9 years, 72 divided by 8, for your money to double. By comparing different investment options and their estimated doubling times, you can choose the one that is most aligned with your financial goals and risk tolerance. For example, if you're looking for a short-term investment, you may choose an option with a higher interest rate and a shorter doubling time. On the other hand, 
If you're planning for retirement or a long-term goal, you may choose an option with a lower interest rate but a longer doubling time. Remember, the rule of 72 is just one tool in your investment toolkit, and you should consider other factors such as the risk, fees, taxes, and diversification when making investment decisions. Now, let's see some practical examples of how you can apply the rule of 72 to different investment scenarios. To find out the annual interest rate of your investment, you can usually check the investment's website, prospectus, or ask your financial advisor. The interest rate may be stated as an annual percentage rate, APR, an annual percentage yield, APY, or a dividend yield, depending on the type of investment. For example, if you're considering a savings account, the interest rate may be stated as an APY, which includes the effect of compounding. If you're considering a stock, the interest rate may be stated as a dividend yield, which is the percentage of the stock's price paid out as dividends each year. Let's say you find out that the interest rate of your investment is 8% per year. You can then apply the rule of 72 to estimate how long it will take for your money to double. By dividing 72 by 8, you get an estimated doubling time of about 9 years. This means that if you invest $1,000 today at an interest rate of 8%, in 9 years you'll have approximately $2,000. Remember that the rule of 72 is just an estimate and actual results may vary due to factors such as compounding, inflation, taxes, and market fluctuations. So make sure to do your research, consider all relevant factors, and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Now, let's see some real-world examples of how you can apply the rule of 72 to different investment scenarios. To apply the rule of 72, you simply divide 72 by the annual interest rate, as a percentage. Let's say you found out that the interest rate of your investment is 8% per year. To estimate how long it will take for your money to double, you can divide 72 by 8, which gives you 9. That means it will take about 9 years for your money to double at an 8% annual interest rate. So if you invest $1,000 today at an interest rate of 8%, in 9 years you'll have approximately $2,000. Similarly, if the interest rate is 10%, you can divide 72 by 10, which gives you 7.2. That means it will take about 7.2 years for your money to double at a 10% annual interest rate. On the other hand, if the interest rate is 6%, you can divide 72 by 6, which gives you 12. That means it will take about 12 years for your money to double at a 6% annual interest rate. Remember that the rule of 72 is just an estimate and actual results may vary due to factors such as compounding, inflation, taxes, and market fluctuations. So make sure to use it as a guideline and not as a precise prediction. Now, let's see some more examples of how you can use the rule of 72 to make better investment decisions. Let's see some examples of how your money can grow using the rule of 72. Suppose you invest $10,000 today at an interest rate of 8% per year. By applying the rule of 72, we can estimate that it will take about 9 years for your money to double to $20,000. That's a great return on investment, but what if you keep reinvesting the interest? That's where the power of compounding comes in. Compounding is when you earn interest on your principal investment as well as on the interest you've already earned. For example, let's say your investment pays out interest annually and you reinvest it at the same 8% rate. After the first year, your initial investment of $10,000 earns $800 in interest, bringing the total value to $10,800. In the second year, you earn interest not only on your initial $10,000 but also on the $800 of interest from the first year. That means you earn $864 in interest, bringing the total value to $11,664. As you can see, the interest you earn each year keeps growing, and so does your total investment. By the end of the ninth year, your investment can grow to $21,589 which is more than double your initial investment of $10,000. Of course, this is just an example and actual results may vary depending on the investment, the interest rate, and other factors. But the key takeaway is that by using the rule of 72 and reinvesting your interest, you can accelerate your wealth accumulation and achieve your financial goals faster. 
so consider using the rule of 72 and the power of compounding to your advantage and make your money work harder for you. Before we wrap up, it's important to remember that investing always involves risk. No investment is guaranteed to grow, and some investments may even lose value over time. The rule of 72 is a useful tool for estimating how long it may take for your investment to double, but it's not a guarantee of future performance. It's crucial to do your own research and consult with a financial advisor or professional before making any investment decisions. Investing involves making informed decisions based on your financial goals, risk tolerance, and investment horizon. You should consider factors such as the investment's historical performance, fees, taxes, and the economic and market conditions that may affect its future prospects. So, while the rule of 72 can be a helpful starting point for evaluating potential investments, it's just one tool in your financial toolkit. Don't forget to always do your own due diligence and consult with professionals before making any investment decisions. With that said, we hope this video has helped you understand how the rule of 72 works and how it can be a useful tool for growing your money. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has been helpful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.